A Fort Worth family is now calling for change at the Tarrant County Jail after their loved one died in custody. The sheriff's office says 31-year-old Anthony Johnson died after being pepper sprayed during a confrontation with officers in his cell on Sunday morning. One county leader is now asking the federal government to step in. NBC 5's Keenan Willer joining us now. Keenan, we've been hearing about this, this rise and concerns about the debts at the Tarrant County Jail. It's been an ongoing issue and to show you some figures recently. Now, Johnson was the second inmate in just four days to die at the Tarrant Jail and the fifth inmate to die at the jail this year. More than 60 inmates total have died at the Tarrant Jail since 2017. In an emotional interview today, Johnson's family tells me those numbers are unacceptable and they're still searching for answers about what led up to his death. It was amazing. Chanel and Janelle Johnson say their brother Anthony was an inspiration to them. A Marine Corps veteran, the sisters say AJ was intelligent, loving, and motivated. He had a really soft soul, light up a room, can make you smile. Johnson suffered from schizophrenia. He was arrested Friday by Saginaw police, who say Johnson was standing in the street and waving a knife at drivers. He was charged with possession of a controlled substance and evading arrest and booked into the Tarrant County Jail. Yesterday morning, his family got a knock on their door. From the chaplain and the two sheriffs to let us know that our brother had died at JPS. The family says the sheriff's office couldn't tell them what led up to Johnson's death, only that he had died and the Texas Rangers were investigating, which could take up to four months. We're told we can't even see him, and it's just like, you know, when you get told someone dies, it's like, how do we know it's real? Like, can, can we go see his body? Can we make sure that you have the right identity, that we're talking about the right person here? Later that night, the family saw a news report with a statement from investigators. The sheriff's office says Johnson refused to leave his cell for a contraband check, and during a confrontation with officers, he was pepper sprayed, leading to a medical emergency. What's the I medical don't believe emergency? It. Pepper spray? What was the medical And why emergency? can't you say what it was? Johnson is the fifth Tarrant jail inmate to die this year and the second death in four days. His family says Johnson tried to get medical treatment for schizophrenia in recent months, but providers wouldn't take him in and he was eventually arrested during a manic episode. If this is the procedure, you guys got to change it because yeah. it's killing people. More than 60 Tarrant County inmates have now died since 2017. The family says to honor Johnson's memory, they plan to fight to bring attention to those deaths. This is the last. <laughs> This is going to be the last death. The fact this that should be and better be the last death that they ever have because that's not right. You can just hear so much pain in their voices there. We reached out to the Tarrant County Sheriff's Office for a response to the family's concerns about what led up to Johnson's death. They referred us to the Texas Rangers for any comments on this case as the investigating agency. Now, in response to concerns about overall inmate deaths at the jail, the Sheriff's Office is working to send us a statement. Brittany. Keenan, we know you'll continue following this for us. Thank you so much. Also tonight, Tarrant County Commissioner Alisa Simmons is calling for the federal government to look into the Tarrant County jail inmates' death rate. In a statement the NBC, to NBC5, Simmons says in part, I will be asking the United States Department of Justice to investigate the continual problem of people dying in Tarrant County jail facilities.